If you want to turn this into this, then watch the following quick guide. Fiercely struck. Start Tennis Elbow 4 and click on Mod Management. Now select the XKT mod and press the square button to subscribe and install the mod. Don't worry, the mods are free to download, so you don't have to pay anything. Now select the second mod, press the square button again to subscribe and install the mod. Finally install the third and last mod. Press the square button again. Now press the R1 button to check if all mods are downloaded and installed correctly. I pre-downloaded the mods so there was no delay. After that, go back to the main menu. Now click on Settings and press the R1 button until you reach the Profile tab. Then select the XKT profile and restart the game. This is very important, otherwise the mods will not work. The game restarts now. Just wait a moment. Just click OK and go to Settings again. Press the L1 button and navigate to the Video tab. Select Advanced Options. Now head over to the 2D background and toggle it on. You have to restart the game again. Click on Yes. The game restarts again. The waiting time for a restart is pretty short. Press OK and tick the box where it says, Don't show this message again. Press OK. Now head over to the training club and press the X button. Go to character sheet. Here we can select our players. It's time to select your player. Move up to the load player button and click OK. Here is a list of 50 current top tennis players, including some legends. Choose one and press the X button. Press the R1 button to select player 2 controlled by the CPU. Again, move towards the load player button and click OK. Select the CPU player, then press the X button. Now press the square button to go back. Let's select our tennis court. You can scroll down with the right analog R3 stick. Select your desired stadium and press the X button. Now let's see if everything is working. The warm-up feature is the best and fastest way to check the players and the tennis court. Press play and hit OK. Tick the box where it says don't show this message again and press OK. Let's hit our first balls. There are still some things to fix. The camera movement and the visible shot helpers. For beginners, I recommend playing with the visible shot helpers. Now go back and select settings in the menu. Navigate to camera with the R1 buttons. Select in camera mode tab. Still. Reduce the camera zoom to 0%. Press the square button to go back. 
Click on Leave Court to go back to the main menu. Select Character Sheet again. On the Player 2 tab, in our case Alcaraz, we can select the difficulty of the CPU. On the Player 1 tab, in our case Nadal, we can remove the visible shot helper. Now, go back and select Warm Up again. Here, you can also select your control style. I prefer simulation, but it's up to you. It seems that everything is working fine. Many thanks to Manu2 at Mana Games for creating this beautiful tennis simulation, and also to the great modding teams. If you find the video helpful, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you.